Hello, YouTube land. Well, it is later in the day on Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Well, I've had a up and down kind of day. Didn't know what I was going to do today. And I thought, well, let's do a little bit more here in Creative Fabrica. I mean, it is such a huge site. So let's take a look at classes. What do they have in here? Online classes. They have Cricut for the Cricut machine, graphic design classes, sewing, clay. Oh, I want to get a clay wheel. That would be cool. Embroidery, illustrating, painting, paper crafting. And then it has says view all enrolled classes. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, that's one I enrolled. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to look at right now. I was checking that out, but that's with the iPad. So anyways, let's take a look at graphic design. Let's see how they're set up. So a person like myself could create a class in any of these. And you have Photoshop. Illustrator, lots of stuff here. How to create brush stamps. Hmm, pretty interesting. So they have lots and lots of classes. I'm going to learn more and more. I have to study this. I'm going to read, like, the best thing to do is to go into a class. See, this says beginner. And they have a mark, beginner, intermediate. Go into the class, and you have to enroll in it. I can't play it because that would be probably copyright. But you have to enroll in it, and then they have different sections here. Discover how to expand your creative image arsenal with Photoshop. In this fun and inform informative class, Tracy Vanova, Van Over will share some of her favorite tips and tricks for using overlays to create gorgeous collage papers and tags, as well as how to transform photos into digital art assets. Materials is tools used in this class. Stock photos, Photoshop miscellaneous brushes, Pixabay photos. Now I would think if I'm here in Creative Fabrica, I'm going to go ahead and use Creative Fabrica photos, but okay. <laughs> and then the Photoshop, different people make brush sets. So this uh, brush set must have been created here. And these are the people who add this class to their favorites. I can do that, All right? <clears throat> and then you can also projects by other students. This might this page might contain affiliate links. So it's very important just look through here, you know. Um, you can follow this person that created the class and you can take a look at their profile. And then they have some uh, people giving feedback down here, which is always nice, right? Very nice, very nice. I'll go ahead and follow. Okay, I'll look at the profile. And those are the other classes. So it's really, really cool. They're all beginner classes. It's really cool what you find here in Creative Fabrica. Another area Let's go to Font Cloud. Open Font Cloud, your free online font manager. Focus on working with your fonts instead of managing them. This is the best way to just look around. Manage all of your fonts. Previewing made easy. Back it all up. 
Backup is so important. <laughs> New font home, two gig of uh, uh, on us. You can take this later. Get a free font, I give to you. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, boy. So, you go through this, browse your fonts. That's the fonts you already have. So, I'll get started on that next time. <laughs> but that's pretty interesting. It's in beta. I guess I should go back in there, right? Maybe it'll open back up. Oh, that's the ones you have. Okay, so let me see. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh, okay. Browse. Oh, nope. That's not my area. Simply drag and drop your fonts here to upload them. Oh, okay. I don't need that. But you might. Maybe you don't have any room and you want to, maybe you do things on the road and you want to keep it in uh, cloud storage and be easier for you if you have large projects or lots of projects. All right, I'm going to go back to the menu and we'll go back up here. I'm going to pick a different craft. Let me see. Oh gosh, look at this. The craft club. So here in the craft club, you have to have a paid subscription to create a fabrica in order to be involved in the craft club. But inside the craft club, what you can do if you like, is you can look at different requests. And these are people that are willing, to, that are looking for these types of uh, images or collections or, you know, whatever it is they want in their request. They're looking for that, which means they're a potential customer. So instead of you just trying to figure out, oh, what am I going to make if we want to make images or drawings or something? You get a better idea, well, what does somebody want? So you look for what they want, <clears throat> and then you make it and submit it and see if they want it. And even if they didn't, you have another collection that you can put up for sale. And you can advertise whatever you uh, have for sale, you advertise to all of your social medias as well. Pretty neat. Okay, I'm just going to keep it that simple for today. And um, we're going to go in through different creative fabrica areas uh, as often as possible. Get myself more, get going, <laughs> and get something done. Maybe tomorrow, uh, I don't know, we'll see what comes up tomorrow. I'll probably do another creative fabrica area. Um, and pick something else out. So we'll talk to you then. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Happy good evening. Happy Sunday night. Bye-bye. <laughs>